I'm now going to uh, hand the mic over to Julia Stumbos from the Henry and Marilyn Taub Foundation to offer us some closing remarks. I'm also at the same time going to open up a single question poll that allows everyone to reflect about their time here with us today. We also will have a longer evaluation form that we will ask you to submit as well, um, kindly ask you to participate in um, that you can do after the meeting is over and we will get that link into the chat. So Julia, here you go. Thank you so much. I am so happy to have been part of this today. I, we we wanna thank you all, the attendees and the presenters who generously gave your time to take part in this fair. I'm just going to take less than five minutes to sort of sum up uh, thoughts on this day. This was a first of its kind event in New Jersey and we tried something a little different and we'll check out the feedback you're providing as we decide if it was a good way to accomplish the kind of networking and the energetic exchange of ideas that we hoped it would. I know I felt a lot of energy in the sessions that I was in um, there are definite changes on the horizon, and New Jersey's future is on a good tra trajectory, I believe, as long as we stay engaged and aware of the changes that are needed to create an equitable culture of healthy aging in communities large and small. I am concerned, as many of you are, that inflation and the rising cost of fuel, electricity, food, and other necessities is making it harder to maintain our health and well being as we live longer lives. Uh, environmental and climate changes, transportation infrastructure, there's some big problems and challenges affordable housing development, property tax policies, the design of our public spaces, election outcomes, public health safety, Medicaid spending, all these are decisions that across sectors make our or break our ability to age with health and dignity in the communities of our choice for the current generation of older adults and the multitudes to follow. More and more people in younger generations are living to ages 100 and beyond and our community infrastructure is going to need to be designed with that in mind. We are a growing uh, a part of a growing global awareness of what it means to age in communities. So what I'd like to share is that taken as a whole, the organizations and individuals represented at the fair today are blazing a new trail, creating a new landscape that includes healthy aging. You are setting the agenda for a new future for our state and one in which each of us bears some responsibility for addressing the changing expectations and requirements of a population that is living longer. The Henry and Marilyn Taub Foundation and our funding partners across the state, including the Grotta Fund at the Jewish Community Foundation Metro West, the Community Foundation of South Jersey, AARP and funders in other states as well are partnering with organizations, many of whom you have heard from today, to connect the dots for setting this new agenda for our state. I would like to give a quick shout out to some of our longtime partners who joined us today and did the hard work of cramming their complex programs and accomplishments into a nanosecond to launch conversations in the breakout rooms, such as Rutgers School of Social Work, New Jersey Future, Paraprofessional Health Institute, New Jersey Advocates for Aging Well, Justice and Aging, Corporation for Supportive Housing, Capital Impact Partners, Geriatric Services Incorporated, and the North Jersey Age-Friendly Alliance, all of the members therein. And I probably left out a few. Your hard work and dedication will provide the foundation for an age-friendly future for all residents of our state. The age-friendly movement has been supercharged by this event, and we thank our colleagues at Rutgers School of Social Work, particularly Dr. Emily Greenfield and Dr. Althea Pestine stevens and their team, for the hard work that went into coordinating the event. We hope you will follow up with one or more of the connections made during today's networking and strengthen our collective progress toward a deliberate, well-designed default plan for aging in place. Our continued communication through forums like this one will allow us to collaborate as we fill in the details of what this new reality will look like. I am excited to continue partnering with all of you and staying abreast of the work you are engaged in 
to help us reach an enlightened culture that supports community living throughout the lifespan. Turning it back over to you, thank you. Thank you very much, Julia. And we so appreciate your support for aging and community in New Jersey. And um, I'll leave it to Emily if you wanted to uh, close us out. Great, just again, thank you to all the presenters and to every single Zoom box here for making the space and time to be part of this together. It's super exciting. It's the first time we did this event and we look forward to lots of different ways and reasons um, to convene and grow more intentional networks across the garden state um, in the name of shared values around age-friendly community change.